Greetings, this is Captain Rex, and you're watching Star Wars Nut 77, home of the Star Wars memorabilia reviews. What's up, Star Wars fans? How you doing? In this video, I'll be reviewing the new Retro Collection six-pack. I got this uh, in the mail the other day and really excited to uh, pick it up. So I want to do an unboxing and show you kind of what's included. This, as you can tell, this is kind of made to look what we would call vintage, right? But they don't want to call it vintage because that gets confusing because they already have a vintage line of figures. But these were kind of not really necessarily recasts or remolds, but very similar to the original recast and i love that this series is also evolving into other content for star wars right in addition to the original series the vintage figures they have the mandalorian series which is awesome they've done figures for that they've released a figure that never came out vintage wise it's grand muff tarkin which is awesome he's available as part of a board game which is a target i believe a target exclusive and then also i just picked up some retro figures i re recently posted a video on that are based on the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. So I'm sure they're gonna do an Andor, I'm sure they're gonna do other ones. There's Book of Boba Fett and all that good stuff too as well, I'm sure coming, but these are really cool. So let's open this up, show you what, what figures are included. I love the vintage look, this is just huge nostalgia for me. Uh, it is has like four different languages, which is what it is, but uh, let's go unbox it and take a closer look. Thanks for watching. So here's a closer look at the box itself. These are the six figures included. Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, Luke, Leia, Chewbacca, and Han Solo. What's missing is C-3PO, RTD2, the Death Star guy, um, you know, some other uh, figures as well from the vintage line, but really cool. Um, slightly different, like the Chewbacca is slightly shorter than the vintage one. Um, same thing on the back here, pretty much the same, right? Uh, these, this is not a sticker, by the way. A lot of times on the actual figures themselves, this will be a sticker. But I know this is not a sticker. Let's go ahead and open this up. Show you the different figures included. Who, who are we going to pull out first? Um, Chewbacca, of course. Uh, and uh, like I said, this is a sticker here. Uh, but Chewbacca's cool. You got the bowcaster, which is awesome. The backs are all the same for all the six figures. They do kind of a wear thing here intentionally. Uh, to make it look like vintage, I guess, or old school, like it's been worn. Uh, I guess they do that so people don't try to resell these online on eBay to uh, try to sell them as original vintage because that can be kind of a scam, right? Here is uh, Leia, and she's got the vinyl cape, which is awesome. And she's got the pistol. And very cool. Again, same thing on the back. I love the buns. Really cool. I love that they, they took the, the, the vinyl cape. Here is Luke Skywalker, telescoping lightsaber. We got the yellow hair. They haven't, I haven't not seen a brown hair variant, the farm boy one, right? I'm sure they're gonna come up with that. He's got the, they all have the pegs on the bottom of the feet as well. Let us see him come up with play sets as well. That'd be really cool. Who is this? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's take a look. Han, or as Lando says, Han. Again, the pistol is, this was like the big head on Solo. Uh, there's another variant as a small head. Maybe they'll come up with a different variant with this one. The original pictures, same kind of artwork, as st same style as the original pictures. Like. The board, the cardboard here feels a little bit different than the vintage figures as well, right? It's a little more thick, a little more heavy. Uh, here's Darth Vader also with telescoping lightsaber. He's got the kind of the, it's supposed to be red, but I guess it's like an orange one. It's the original one. Like the original vinyl cape as well. Very cool. I love that they use a Kenner name as well. And last one, Stormtrooper. Very cool as well. He's got the gun. So these are really cool figures. Uh, Mike, I'm really glad that uh, Hasbro, or, or you know, under the Kenner name, is doing these again. What's also unique about these, they have uh, the 2022 uh, frame on it, or the time frame. This is a date stamp. Uh, the original ones, these came out several years ago in Target, several years ago. So these are slightly different, which is a variation. And those are also not punched. Whole punch, which is unique as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys subscribing. And we'll see you guys soon. Take care. May the Force be with you.